What's up, everybody? What's up? I'm here with Lucas, who's one of my close friends from the United States. You're supposed to say hello at this point. You already hello. said what's up, but yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what's up? And so Lucas visited uh, the beginning of this year. When I moved back to Nicaragua, Lucas came with me just to stay for the first six weeks, right? And now he's come back. How long were you gone? Uh, like eight months. Yeah, it was a while. So what? Uh, why? Why are you back here now? Uh, right now I'm back to save money for a while while I'm in a coding boot camp. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what sucks? Oh, recording. Oh, recording? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's nerve-wracking, right? Right? You can go over here. I don't think about it as nerve-wracking anymore. The only, the only thing that I get, like, nervous about is when there's people, like, in the background and stuff. I don't want to bother them, but anyway. So, I wanted to introduce you guys to Lucas because um, as you guys know, I've, I have the Nicaragua course teaching people how to like live in the country, how to expect the financial logistics, um, what to deal with with your visa, all the things that you need to know about changing your location so that you can save money. Um, in Lucas's case, he's studying online, so he, was, he had to make a decision between living in California, living with his parents, or living here. Um, and so it's like significantly cheaper, obviously, to live here. So depending on what you're doing, changing your location could be really relevant. And so now that we're here, obviously, I apologize about the noise, by the way. We're like in the middle of Managua, so, you know, we're actually in one of the parks. You can see the statue and stuff, right? Um, but I'm gonna be doing a series of videos where I'm helping, or I'm working with Lucas to get him set up here for the first time, right? So like he has a shopping list of things he needs to get that he didn't bring. So we're going to Maxi Pali to do that now. And then we also got to get you a Nicaraguan phone number. We got to, what else do we have to do? Uh, I need shampoo. Shampoo? Yeah, we're going to get that at Maxi Pali. So I'm going to show you guys little snippets of like the whole process and all that. Now we're going to Maxi Pali. So. I'll see you guys in Maxi Pali. Okay guys, now we are still on the way to Maxi Pali. By the way, Maxi Pali is, uh, it's like the store you go to if you want cheaper options. It's not as cheap as the market. The market's always the cheapest place you can go, but Maxi Pali's pretty close. Like it's where like a lot of local Nicaraguan people would actually shop. Whereas like La Colonia, which is a store that I've shown you guys before on this channel, um, La Colonia is like kind of like the Whole Foods in the United States. It's like you can get the same things in the market for like half the price there. Whereas in Pali, maybe you're saving like 20, 30 percent, right? Um, but the Max Pali is pretty close. It's only like, what do you think this is? Like a 20 minute walk from the house? 25 maybe? Yeah, there's a lot of Maxi Pali's in Pali. So, see you guys. And look, now. We're at Maxi Pelli. Now we're going inside. What's up? Now we're in the fan section. And this is gonna be one of the most important things to you. As you can see right now, I am sweaty. And basically, if you aren't under a fan, you're going to get a little bit uncomfortably hot. As I've talked to you guys about before, you have a couple options to maintain your body temperature. The main one is having a fan, drinking cool water, and having showers. As long as you do these three things, you're gonna to get to a point where you're not phased by the heat anymore. Um, if you just sit around and think you can just be comfortable all the time without having to do anything, then the heat's gonna bother you. But the reality is, as long as you take regular showers and you're drinking cold water and you always have a fan on, then me personally, I'm quite comfortable. Like right now, I'm all sweaty because I'm like not in a fan area and I've been walking around out in the sun, you know? And so that's why I'm like this, okay? Next, I'm gonna show you a couple different things. Uh, first, we're gonna go over some of the pricing for like fans here at this Maxi Pali. After this, we're going to go to look at like refrigerators and ovens and some of the like basic household goods that you're gonna need, okay? So I personally would get a bigger fan, like ideally like one of these kind of fans, um, but I'll probably go with this one because this fan is 1,500 cords, right? Way more durable. Whereas this one is just 1,000. So this is like, that is 30% more expensive. So I probably won't go with that. 
Um, but typically you might want something like this as well because it can oscillate and cover a whole room. Some people like these tower fans. Um, I personally, most of the time, just see stuff like this and that's it. Uh, these are nice if you can get a good one. Um, so just because there's two main things you want to think about with fans. One is the loudness of the fan and two is the durability. The reality is all of these fans would serve our purpose on day one. But a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, maybe they wouldn't be functioning the way that we expected anymore. So sometimes, considering how important a fan is, it's one of the most important because it's going to be what makes you feel comfortable in a room, what stops you from feeling hot and sweaty and going to, into heat exhaustion. Fans are amazing, right? So you may want to spend a little bit more. It's really up to you. But now I'll get to it and I'll show you the rest of this Maxi Pally. See you there. All right, guys, now we are in the cooking section. I'm going to show you these. Basically, some roommates moved out. So in the house, we lost a lot of the cooking utensils. Right now, we only have a big pan like that, a big pot to boil things in, and also a big frying pan. So I need something to reheat because we also lost the microwave. So I want to get something that's little that I can reheat like tea and coffee and milk and that kind of stuff in because I always make hot things and then I forget them and then when I find them later they're not hot anymore so I'm getting one of these and also I'm actually looking for a spatula um, and this is the area you would find spatulas like these are things similar to spatulas but they don't have any spatulas here and that happens sometimes like you're gonna find things that you don't think like you don't have any use for and then you're also going to want to have things and then they're just not where you would think they would be that does happen sometimes like right now i want to get a spatula for when you like cook eggs and that kind of thing but they literally don't sell them so i have to go to a different place weird right next we're going to show you some of the pricing on like refrigerators and that kind of stuff Check. now we're at the fridges and i want to show you the fridges because really when you first get a place it's probably not going to be furnished and you're going to need to get a fridge you're also going to need to get something to cook on and then basic other furniture. But really, you got to have a fridge and you got to have a stove. These are the vitals, right? So let's look at some like basic pricing of what a fridge costs in Maxi Pally. Remember that at the moment of me recording this video, it is 33 cords to $1, okay? So 3,300 cords or 3,900 cords is almost equal to 100 bucks. So you can think of it as 4,000 cords is $100. That's not exactly, but considering you're new to the con conversions and everything, that's gonna help you. If you see 3,999 Cordovas, you can equate that to 100 bucks. It's not exactly, but it's, it's close to that, okay? So we can see there's a lot of different sizes for fridges, but in general, the fridges here are gonna be thinner than what you're used to in the United States. Um, and that's pretty typical, same with other appliances. Right, so let's see, what's the cheapest, the cheapest fridge they have is over here. So this one. And this fridge costs 9,000 cords, okay? So this is like $280 around that, right? And that's one of the cheaper ones here. And that is because it also has a freezer. Generally, if you're getting an actual freezer with a separate door, you're always gonna be paying like at least like 150 bucks for a freezer. Um, but then if you get like a more bigger one, right? Like this is a much more full-size freezer. You can see that it's like taller than me, right? And this one is 15,000 cords. So it is, the other one was 9,000 cords, but this one's significantly bigger. So generally, I go with the cheaper options because I'm like minimalist like that. But you know, if you want to have like a fancy house, that kind of thing, got options they're in nicer fridges and the, I'm just looking at fridges in a maxi pally this is like a very really basic place to find them you could also go to an appliance store in a marketplace um, and that's generally where you're gonna get better deals but keep in mind that if you don't know people maybe you'll be charged more than what you'll pay here um, it's very relevant to who you know and if they know you ideally you want a friend who like works at a market because then they have relationships with people and you can buy through their relationships and then you'll just get stuff like a little bit above cost which is super cheap that's how you get like the really good deals um but yeah 
All right, guys. Now we're gonna look at beds, which are actually right here. So you can get beds, right? Look at that. And these beds, this one's 9,000 cords, same price as the entry level fridge. Um, and this is just for this part, so you don't get a box spring, okay? Or anything to put the bed in. Whereas this one, this one's 5,000 cords. So this one's significantly cheaper. This is like closer to 130 bucks. Um, and then over here in this section, they have a bunch of different furniture and stuff, right? So I'm gonna show you some of these. Um, you can get little like nightstands, right? It's just like Walmart. You buy like flat packed furniture. See, there's this little cute little end table thing here, right? And then let's see, that end table is 500 cords. So 500 cords is uh, a bit less than 20 bucks. So that's actually pretty good. I would pay that. And you can also get suitcases. And then here's like all the televisions, that kind of stuff. I can show you the pricing here too. So, okay, little smart TV. This, 5,000 cords. That's kind of expensive, honestly, because it's tiny, right? Whereas you can get bigger ones. 7,000 cords. This is 17,000 cords. This one's 13,000. 18,000 cords, that one's much bigger. Obviously, it's kind of hard to tell the perspective, but you can see like, they're big TVs. I'm just holding the camera in a way that makes it so they may lock, not look big, right? Um, this one's 22,000, so yeah. Don't think that they like don't have technology and stuff here, you know? Totally does. If you're in like a rural town, yeah, you're, you're not gonna find a store like, like this. You may have to drive to get to the closest Maxi Pally. But even the rural towns, they have a lot of polys, which are like this store, except a much smaller version with less variety, right? So we're gonna go to one more place in this poly, and then I'm gonna end the video. And the last place that we're gonna go to is showing you like cookers and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, because really the fridge and the stove are what's super necessary. I guess there is another thing you might need, which is laundry machines. You personally don't see these too often. Like, more people do laundry by hand. I, I actually do laundry by hand. Or will pay for someone else to do their laundry, like a maid, um, who, like, has a friend who has a laundry machine or something. In general, one laundry machine will be used by, like, multiple families and multiple neighbors. Um, although, there are absolutely people who just have their own laundry machine. But personally, like, I don't think it's as relevant as having, like, a fridge and that kind of stuff, okay? All right, so now I wanna show you, here we go. Here's like the stoves and that kind of thing. So you're gonna have two options. There's stuff that you can like plug in like this, right? Um, but really what's better is to just get like a gas, uh, one of these like gas units, right? So this is like a, a base model that you get the stove and you also have an oven. Um, what's really common here is to often just see the stove part. So you'll get something like this, and it is, you see that? So it's upside down, but that's just the stove. So you hook this up to a gas tank, and then you cook that way. And that's how most things are cooked here, like especially in the street, um, that's how pretty much everything is cooked. So let's look at some prices. This is like a really basic entry level hornia, or oven and stove, right? And this costs 7,600 cords in total, so around $200, right? Whereas if you were to get, um, I actually don't see the price, but if you're going to get one of these, then for like uh, a cheaper one, it's like 500, 600 cords if it's new, so like 20, 30 bucks. And if it is uh, a really fancy one, then maybe you're paying like 1,200 cords, so like $40, 50 bucks, right? Um, Again, that's 30, 40 bucks versus like $200. So there's reasons that people use the, uh, just the stove top more frequently than having the rest of it, all right? Now we're back home and I wanna show you what the room looks like now that it's been all set up, okay? Because the room that Lucas moved into is the one I used to move into. And even though Lucas is the one who's new here, the room that he's renting is fully furnished, right? So he pays $140 or $130 a month and it's fully furnished, right? So it has bed, all that stuff. Whereas 
Mine's not fully furnished, but I was living in the fully furnished room. So now, as you just saw, I went to Max Pally, and then after that, I went to Walmart, and I got a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like, because I'm pretty happy with it, all right? All right, guys, look, I flipped the camera. This is something I'm actually doing now. So, just real quick, this is the doorway to my part of the house, right? So, you come up here, there's all the skateboards and stuff. There's the front door. Go in, and there you go. There's the kitchen. There's the living room, dining room, place. There's the cat. There's the other cat. And there's my room. So, we go in here. And then there's my bed. I got these nice little pad things. I love these things. I like anything that adds color. So that's why, that's literally a bed sheet. It's just hanging on the wall. There's my desk. It's where I work and stuff. Yeah, there we go. I also got some space up there. And that's everything. And I feel really happy because all this stuff, let's see, like, like a bed like this costs like $150, something around that. I got all the pillows, all that stuff, all the sheets. Got this fancy little chair here. Instead of working on the bed, I have a chair. Also got this furniture there, got that furniture, all these things, typical like Walmart prices. And that's it. So it's pretty easy to get stuff, guys. Like I've said before, a lot of the things that you think about Nicaragua aren't true. You have all these preconceptions as an American. The reality is people live here. I live here. I want to live here. I'm happy here. Sometimes there are going to be stressful things in life. Maybe I'll doubt that every now and then. But I have a better life here. I love it. It's awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you want any kind of specific Nicaragua content, let me know. I will show you. I am now focused on making more and more of these Nicaragua videos. So if you want to learn anything about the country, just let me know and I will make a video uh, uh, for you, okay? Right now, the only video request I have is for Tip Top, which is fried chicken. So at some point, I will go get Tip Top and I will make a video just for you, okay? Broing Ortega, talking to you. Anyone else? Let me know. I'll make a video for you, okay? Anything about Nicaragua. Anything you are worried about, concerned about, you want to see, you want to know. How do you get this? How do you do that? Let me know. All right, guys? Thanks for watching. See you next time. And if you want to check out my course, look in the description. It teaches you everything you need to know the logistics of spending time in Nicaragua. This is perfect for those of you who study online or earn money online or are considering retirement. You can take the course and feel much more comfortable knowing what it takes to live here, what's different, and how to get yourself set up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao!